Before we get into numerical examples of Kirchhoff's voltage rule, I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about the difference between potential and voltage. In my class, I try to make sure I keep a really, really clear distinction between these two things. Potential, electric potential specifically, was introduced in our electrostatics unit and you could find the value, capital V, of the potential at different locations in that electrostatic sample. And also, you could find the potential at different locations in an electrical circuit. Voltage, on the other hand, I defined as delta V for its symbol because it's a difference in potential between two different places in a circuit. So while you could define a potential at a particular location in a circuit, to define the voltage, it has to be the voltage across a section of the circuit so that I can find the difference in potential between two different points in that circuit. Now we're going to start by looking at batteries. And here's a symbol for a battery. The idea here is that when a battery has a voltage of 10 volts, that means one side of it is 10 volts higher in potential than the other side. Now I've got some labels here I've prepared ahead of time, and I'm going to move these around. So in our battery symbol, remember the shorter line is the negative terminal, and the longer line is the higher terminal. In terms of potentials, the higher value is always on that positive side, and the lower potential is always over here on the negative side. It doesn't mean that this side is always a positive number and this side is a negative number. It just means that this side has to be a higher number and that side has to be a lower number. Specifically, this side has to be 10 volts higher than this side. Similarly, we could look at resistors. And for resistors, you're also going to have a difference in potential once current is flowing through there. If you've got a situation where you've got a resistor that's just sitting there without any current, there's no difference in potential between the two sides. But once you actually start introducing a current flowing through that circuit, then you're going to have a voltage across that particular resistor in the circuit. And the higher side is actually where the current comes in, and the lower side is going to be where the current comes out. If you want to think of these higher and lowers with an analogy of elevation, then batteries are like pumps that move the current from a lower potential to a higher potential. And resistors are like waterfalls where the current flows downhill over that resistor. This is just your basic introduction to what we're talking about with the voltage and how it corresponds to higher or lower potentials depending on which way is the positive and negative and which way the current is flowing through the battery. So now as we start getting into actual numerical examples in the upcoming videos, keep these principles in mind in order to make those examples make more sense.